Guys, everyone loves an underdog, and there are few better places to find truly tear-jerking Cinderella stories than esports. Now, no matter what your team or your regional allegiances are, you have to admit these are some of the most iconic moments in esports history. Now, of course, the most iconic moment in esports history was the moment you saw me wearing the shirt. You can get your own at the Score Esports new online merch department. A truly iconic link will be pinned in the comment section below. So from little known teams making miraculous runs on their game's biggest stage to underperformers looking to turn a season around, here are the top 10 Cinderella stories in esports. We kick off our list with the team that turned League of Legends on its head in 2012. The Taipei Assassins came into the World Championships with no international experience, and many were unsure if their regional dominance would translate to the game's biggest stage. But they held tough, beating the surging Najin White Shield before toppling tournament favorites Moscow 5 to earn a spot in the finals. Diamond Prax goes down! The inhibitor is open! The double kill comes out! Moscow 5 looking very grim right now! Taipei Assassins look to take down the last Nexus turret, and they will drop Moscow 5 from the League of Legends Championship Playoffs! After losing a back-and-forth Game 1 against Korean juggernauts Azubu Frost, TPA would go on to win the next three games to become League of Legends' second world champions. Coming in at number 9 on our list are Dota 2 darlings Adfinum. The Greek squad certainly didn't enter 2016's Boston Major as favorites after barely making it through the EU qualifiers, and it seemed like their time at the tournament would be cut short after struggling through the group stage. Adfinum just lost everybody oh without buyback. One fell swoop of E-Home, and they take game number three in what has been an intense series. But no one could have predicted what came next as the Greeks came out strong, beating Newbie, LGD Forever Young, and Digital Chaos en route to an unexpected playoff berth. All of Adfinim are here and Moonmaner begins to get kited around. Thug one step ahead, daring the Leviathan to come at him, but it's done! DC are gone! And Adfinim, they're going to the Grand Finals! While they came up short against OG in the finals, Adfinim's run will go down as one of the scene's best Cinderella stories. EVO is an opportunity for legends to cement their status and new players to make their mark, which is why the eighth entry on our list belongs to Luffy's historic run at EVO 2014. Oh no! Oh no! That's it! Luffy! Luffy has done it! He has taken Evolution 2014! Unbelievable! It is France! It will be your champion over Japan! Luffy was knocked into the loser's bracket early into Ultimate Street Fighter 4's bracket. But Luffy wouldn't be denied his shot at glory, as his loser's bracket run saw him take out Tokido, oh Momochi, he has defeated Momochi, and he is going to move on in the loser's bracket. Momochi sent home in seventh place. And Fudo. Luffy has made it to Grand Finals, the fight against Bon Chen. En route to the Grand Finals. In two unbelievable sets, with a character that many believed was low tier, Luffy managed to best Bone Chan and secure the first ever Evo Street Fighter win for Europe after 11 grueling rounds in the loser's bracket. And a lot of times people say, oh, he had an easy bracket. He had like one of the hardest, the hardest bracket, bracket ever going through all those guys, including Snake Eyes, having a, a down to the wire match with Snake Eyes, and Luffy has taken it Evolution 2014 from Dude. Europe. From staring down relegation to facing off against the best in the world, the seventh entry on our list belongs to Cloud9's incredible gauntlet run to secure a spot at Worlds in 2015. With Incarnation, now known as Jensen, taking over the team's mid lane duties during the summer split, Cloud9 went through some growing pains and only narrowly avoided relegation. But thanks to their second place spring split finish, they still had a shot to make it to Worlds as the fourth seed in the NA Regional Qualifiers. 
We are going to be getting into this North American Regional Qualifier. Cloud9 versus Gravity. It's been, like we said, roughly a month before these, or since these teams have played. So I'm sure they're ready and ready to go. With a reverse sweep against Gravity. And they are able to come back from the 2-0, or I should say 0-2 that Gravity put them in, to go 3-2 versus Gravity in the first gauntlet game of the North American Summer Split. Cloud9 are moving on to take on Impulse. Followed by a reverse sweep against Team Impulse. They give up the series, Cloud9 get the reverse sweep and they're gonna face Team Liquid. And a dominant win over Team Liquid. That's gonna be the Nexus, that's gonna be the game, that's gonna be a trip to the World Championship for Cloud9. Cloud9 shocked the region and made their third consecutive world's appearance. Coming in at number 6 is Beyond's incredible GSL Season 2 win in 2016. After qualifying for Code S, Bjorn was one of only three teamless players in the tournament. And here's our second player of the group, Group C. It is Bjorn. And uh, he qualified out of Code A, beating Forte 3-0. Uh, Forte's not really that strong of a player, but it's still an impressive result. Bjorn began his climb by qualifying for the round of 16 against Los Sierra before defeating SOS to top his group and make it to top 8. Paul's a little bit indecisive. He's going to kill a lot. 17 workers and the Stalkers. GG, that's, that's it. it. <laughs> that's it. Bjorn does it. He you know, finds a way. You know what? I mean, this is, this is kind of... This, this move seems surprising, like, wow, I can't believe he forced a GG there. Fighting his way through the tournament, Bion once again faced down the dominant Protoss in the finals. After losing game one, Bion went on to stun the StarCraft world, completely dismantling his opponent in the next four games to become the first teamless player to win a major Korean league. Bion is just too good with his control! This is it, Tasteless! SOS is done! Yeah. Yeah. Oh my god! Beyond! Teamless Beyond is the GSL CODES champion! In League of Legends, wildcard teams at Worlds are largely swept aside by the major regions. But the number 5 entry on our list flipped that narrative on its head. They're looking at the Nexus! They've taken down the turret! They've taken down another! And for the second time at Worlds, a wildcard team has taken down! Albus, Knox, Luna were grouped with Europe's G2, North America's CLG, and Korea's Rox Tigers at the 2016 World Championship. But the CIS upstarts were unfazed by their group mates and managed to topple not only CLG and G2, but the dominant Korean team as well. All these minions are hitting the void link still. The next one is the He's the greatest time! He's getting it! He did it! Oh my god, they did it! just took down the Rocks Tigers. With those wins, Albus Knox Luna became the first wildcard team ever to make it out of the group stage at Worlds. And while they would lose to H2K in the quarterfinals, they left their mark on the game's biggest stage. Hey guys, we are from Wildcard. And they have said, told you before, being underdog doesn't mean being a loser. That's all. Coming in at number 4 on our list is another, even more miraculous world's birth by Cloud9. 10th place to finals is a great story, but Cloud9 will do you one better! 10th place to worlds! Cloud9's 2018 summer season saw them bench three star players and experiment with their roster. At first, things looked bad. That's gonna be one Nexus turret! What a two-man play! All the way into the base! What a start for Golden Guardians as they take down Cloud9! But midway through the split, things began to click and they qualified for Worlds after a successful gauntlet run. But it was at the 2018 World Championships where Cloud9 made history. After making it out of a tough group, C9 took down the Afrika Freaks 3-0 in quarterfinals and were part of the reason no Korean team made it to the World Finals for the first time since they got a server. Oh, they're going for it! Oh, what a hook by Tushin! They're going to find the way in though, the Orin's going to come across and the knockups are there! Is this the fight? It's 2 for 0 and the Guardian Angels are popped! 
this could well be it. Look at him clean up the map, and the last vestige of Korea has been destroyed. Cloud9 will make it to the semifinals. A 3-0 sweep. Oh yeah, they're also the first NA team to make it past the quarterfinals since season one. The third spot on our list belongs to the North American team who proved the Counter-Strike world wrong in Boston. Cloud9 are your E-League Major Champions! Cloud9 quickly 3-0'd their way to the new legend stage. After losing their first two games, it seemed like Top 8 would be out of reach for North America at yet another major. But three incredible wins later, Cloud9 reached the new champion stage. Yeah, get tired, 180. Again, though, the HPI jumps across. Rush nails at 16. Rounds for Cloud9. With top eight secured, North America's last hope bested G2, then SK, and finally defeated the newly formed Super Team FaZe Clan, securing NA's first major title. It could hardly have been more difficult. They weren't the favorites. They were the underdogs. They were a heavy underdogs, but they did it for North America. Skadoodles won the major! The runner-up spot on our list harkens back to StarCraft's early days. In 2006, Brood War was in the midst of the reign of its fourth Bonjois, whose dominance inspired the title Savior. And uh, that to me just looked like a flawless strategy right there, and that's gonna be it, that's gonna be GG right there. But in the 2006 MSL Finals, one young Protoss player named Bisu would go on to stun the StarCraft world. In a matchup heavily favoring savior Zerg race, Bisu did the unthinkable. Not only did Bisu win, he 3 0 the game's most dominant player, and the unconventional strategies he employed would go on to change the way that people played PvZ. The International is the absolute pinnacle of Dota 2, which is why our number one entry belongs to a team who defied the odds. That's real. That's fucking real. Breathe it in, take your time. After losing two of their best players just before the tournament, OG were forced into a speedy rebuild. And while they managed to secure Europe's only qualification spot at TI, many thought that would be the lone bright spot for the ragtag group. And boy, they were wrong. They turn on Dorenzo, get the bash, find the kill. MSS also in trouble with all of BGJ Storm Fall. In a group with tournament favorites, OG managed to squeak into the upper bracket. From there, OG's sheer determination and force of will saw them barrel through a number of tournament favorites all the way to the grand finals. And well, you know the rest. Well guys, that's our list from this week. Now if we missed out on your personal favorite Cinderella story from the history of esports, well of course let us know in the comment section below. Do leave a like, sub to the channel, and I will see you next week. Thanks for watching. If you want more great content just like this, be sure to hit the subscribe button.